Welcome, 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 welcome back to Conversations with Carrie. Y'all, I looked at my YouTube and I was like, oh, it's been over a year <laughs> since I have talked to y'all. For one, welcome back. Thank you for those who kept watching videos. I pray that you were encouraged. But I'm excited to talk to y'all today. And you know, it was one of those days. I was like, child, I'm sleepy. I'm off work today. And I just felt like the Lord's been pressing on my heart, like to get back to this. So I'm back. And oh, it's been a year. Can I tell you? Let me see. Where am I going to start? Okay. Bought a new house. New background. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, cut my hair, grew it out, cut my hair again. <laughs> um, I have switched jobs. Uh, like, there's just, uh, I've been reading all the books. Like, there's just so much to catch you up on. But can I just also, in all of this, say, God is so good. Oh, y'all know, y'all know I'm going to keep, keep it real, but I'm also going to talk about the wonderful works of my Savior. Life has happened. So much life. Um, but I'm excited to tell you about it, and hopefully this will encourage you. And I don't have a scripture today to ground me in. I just kind of want to like share some things that have been going on in my life. And I don't believe that God will do it for me, and he won't do it for you. So therefore, that's what I'm sharing a little bit of this. So we're going to start with this, this new background. This, I'm in my library right now, my study slash library. This is normally where I work. Um, and Because I'm in a new house. Yes, I bought a new house. Um, but this process, let me tell you all about it. For one, hi, my name is Carrie. I'm 42 years old and I live with my parents. What? <laughs> Listen, I, I never saw this happening, but God had a plan and he is so good. So in 2019, I started wanting a new home. I loved my first starter home. It was one of those blessing homes. You know, God just showed himself faithful in every step of the way with that home. But I was starting to grow out of it. It was a cute little 1,200 square feet um, it, you know, a little starter neighborhood. It was just right for me. But I noticed that when people would come over or I would have guests stay in from out of town, I just felt a little cramped. And eventually I just felt like I was starting to grow out of it. I had different uses that I need to get out of the home. So of course, 2019, I prayed about it and I felt like Lord didn't give me like the go ahead. And you're probably wondering, well, what do you mean he didn't give you the go ahead? I just didn't have like, yes, I can go after this. You know, I'm looking at st uh, looking on Zillow and Redfin and I would actually feel conviction about looking on it because I didn't feel like the Lord told me yes. So again, there was a knowing in my spirit. I was like, I don't think it's the time right now. And my realtor, who's also a close friend, she's absolutely amazing, Malika Hunt in the Bay Area. I will put her information down below because you can reach out to her if you need a realtor. Um, I even told her, I was like, I'm thinking about it, but I'm just not quite ready yet. Because again, I didn't have the release from the Lord. And then 2020 happened. And we all know what happened in 2020. So much. And even then, I'm like, okay, you know, prices. I'm seeing people move out of the Bay Area. And I was asking the Lord, like, can I move? He was like, nope. Because <laughs> I was going to move to Austin, you know, live close to my parents. And he was like, nope, that's not for you. So I was like, okay. Now, keep in mind also, I felt like he impressed upon my heart to give away my uh, second bedroom suite. I just gave it away. And I was like, okay, great. I'll move my bed in there. Give me a new king bed. I prayed about it. Lord was like, nope. I was thinking, but you had me give my bed away. What if my parents come or I have a girlfriend in from out of town or whatever? He didn't say, yes, I can get a new bed. Now, keep in mind this whole time, you're probably thinking like, well, uh, was that really the Lord? I don't believe that the enemy cares about me being a good steward of my finances. He wants to steal, kill, and destroy everything that belongs to me. So when the Lord is telling me to wait on something, I'm like, okay, that's building patience, a fruit of the spirit. But then also I'm like, okay, Lord wants me to be smart about my finances. He doesn't play about me, nor my money. So I was like, okay, no, I'm going, I'm going to wait. If it's not him, he sees my heart in being obedient. So and then 2021 comes around, I'm still waiting. And I, I mean, I'm literally like praying about it. Sometimes I would pray about it a lot, sometimes not so much. But either way it goes, Lord was saying no. Or he was saying wait. And then towards the end of 20, no, middle 2022, I feel like I got the release. It was just kind of like, I just randomly thought about it one day. And I was like, Lord, can I start looking for a house yet? He was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh. So I started looking. Now, I had all these plans about how I was going to keep my first home, rent that out, and just buy this new home, something a little bigger that's just right for me. And even started looking at houses with my realtor. And one day, just kind of out of the blue, I felt like the Lord just impressed upon my heart about having my parents live with me. Now, keep in mind, um, you might see in some of my old videos that I lived with my parents just for uh, about three months during COVID. So I was like, I know we get along really well, you know, 
I could see it working, but I was in their home versus them being in my home. But I was like, okay. I asked them about it. They prayed about it. I was like, yeah, baby, okay, yeah. I was like, my parents are really like down to move to California. And the thing is, they were just letting me pick the house. You know, I knew, I know my parents very well. I know what they like and what they don't like. I know how they operate. You know, I pay attention to those kind of things. So I think they just trusted for one, that the Lord was going to take care of it and that I was going to choose a home that worked for all of us. And I had specific criteria. I was like, we have to have separate space. I have to have a bedroom on the different floor from theirs. I needed them to have their own space where they can watch TV or my father uh, can watch TV. My mom can be in another area. I wanted a big kitchen for her to cook. Like I had specific things. And my mentor, she was just like, why don't you ask the Lord, Lord, what kind of home do you want to buy me? And listen, I, I'm all about praying for stuff. And I was like, I hadn't even thought to do that. That sounds so, oh so spiritual. But I was like, no. And she was like, well, why not? It's his house anyway. Everything that you have is his. You just have to be a good steward over it. So I asked the Lord, well, Lord, what kind of home are you going to buy me? And I would say it all the time in my prayer time as I would see houses. I was like, Lord, is this the home you want for me? Is this the home that you're going to buy me? And sure enough, we started looking at different homes. And I had to look at a bigger house. And I'm thinking... Lord, these interest rates are, are out the wazoo. It's expensive in California. Like, what? How am I going to afford this home? But I just kept saying, like, Lord, I know you'll give me the house that's right for us. And sure enough, <laughs> God in all his sovereignty, he had me look at this home. And when I looked at it, it's, it had been on the market for a long time. It was overpriced. And I was just like, oh, my gosh. And I remember looking through the house, and I could immediately see what changes I wanted to make. And I knew, I was like, okay. This home is a little, you know, it's not little. It was a lot outside of my price range, but it was the perfect size. But, you know, the enemy will throw doubt, like, who are you to have a home like that? Who are you to be able to afford that? Like, that's not the house for you. But I knew as I walked through, I was like, I think this might be the house. However, you know, the price wasn't where it needed to be. So I put in an offer, lowballed them, let me tell you. And they said no. However, they were like, but keep in touch with us. It wasn't like a no, get out of here, you disrespected us. They were just like, but keep in touch with this because they didn't have any offers. So I was like, okay. I kept looking around. So I was like, maybe there's going to be something better. Um, and I mean, looked at a lot of different homes and ultimately it came down to an, another home in this one. And they still didn't have any offers on this home, but they were saying like, oh, we've had a few more visitors. So I'm like, well, Lord, if it's your will, we'll get the house. If it's not, that's not a problem. And in the meantime, I sold my home, went, you know, over asking, was very happy about that. And keep in mind this whole time, at nighttime, the enemy would really attack my mind. He would just really try to put seeds of doubt. And there was one house, I was like, well, I mean, we could live there, there's enough space. I just didn't love the area and it just wasn't what I wanted. Um, and I had a dream about it that night and I felt like the Lord made it very clear this was not the home that he had for me. So again, I was just like, okay, that's not it. I'm not going to settle. Amen, somebody. Um, and was like, okay, Lord, I'm still believing you. And it came down to, I remember showing my friend, it was between this home and another home. The other home wasn't exactly what I wanted either. It was really cute, really cute, like neighborhood. It wasn't the area I wanted though. Ultimately, that wasn't the city I wanted. And like the, my parents, we were been on the same floor. Their room would have been smaller. It just didn't have the extra space I was hoping to have. It had a, other benefits, but it just didn't have truly what I wanted it to have. And so put in the offer again, low balled them again, but this time with more regulations and stipulations. And when you know it, come on, they accepted. Amen, amen, amen. Like, it was just such an amazing thing. I remember bringing my parents here to see it before they even, or I think they, no, before they had accepted the offer. And my parents thought it was like amazing. They was just like, oh my gosh, Carrie, all this house. Like, it was just, it was such a blessing. And, you know, we got in the home. I took out all the carpet, I painted the whole thing. Like, I had all this work done. And Lord was just causing everything to fall into place. It was such a blessing. I moved in on Black Friday. So for my, those of you in retail, but other than that, it was a Friday after Thanksgiving that I moved in and I was just like, oh my gosh, this is my new house. Um, I'm going to put in some pictures here and there so you can like see some of the, the progress and like how it used to look, maybe how it looks now. And it was so fun just like decorating. My sister came out and she helped design the library and stuff. Just There were just so many different moving parts, but ultimately it came down to the Lord brought me the house that he had for me 
and I live with my parents now. I wanted them to have a, a different lifestyle because the Lord has blessed me to be able to, you know, take care of things at the home financially and stuff. So, you know, I was asking my mama cook and Lord does she cook. Listen, we had biscuits this morning, homemade biscuits with breakfast. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, my father takes care of the outside. We have a pool, which child, I ain't in nobody's pool. I'm the type of person that goes pool, uh, swimming and goes like to right here because I don't like water on my head. It's, it's a whole thing. Um, but either way, it goes like all these things I didn't ask for. I mean, like the ring security system, like the planting and the landscaping that they left, like such a wonderful home. The Lord just gave me, gave us little bits and pieces of little blessings that we are still discovering to this day. Like, oh, I didn't know it did that in here. That's great. Like, it's just so much, such a blessing. And I was like, Lord, this is the home that you have for me. So as we're living here, what I didn't, I really haven't shared with many people is that the attack of the enemy afterwards, and it was really all mental. I would be laying in my bed at night, you know, happy in my new home. And he would just play seeds of doubt. Like, you know, you can't afford this. Now you're never going to be able to pursue the other things that you wanted to do because you need to keep working because now you have to afford this home. And it, it was just like bombarding me. And also always when I put my head down at night to sleep and I remember praying. So I was like, Lord, you didn't set this up. I know that this was you. I was not making this up. Like my parents received confirmation. I had talked with people at church about it, like trusted advisors, because, you know, there's, um, you know, you got to get some wise counsel when you're making big decisions. And I mean, I talked with my sister. I talked with different people. This wasn't just like a whim, like, oh, I'm moving my parents out here. I understand that that was a big deal. And also moving into a house. I'm not the type to move into a house that I can't afford. And I was just like, Lord, I'm trusting that you are going to do what you said you were going to do. You put this stuff on my heart. You put these desires in my heart. All I had to do was surrender to you. And sure enough, like the Lord just started blessing, blessing, blessing. And I'll probably have to talk about the job stuff in the separate video but who knew <laughs> who knew the lord had all this plan for me and it was totally different than what i thought but so much better and it's been wonderful living with my parents of course we've had our own growing pains because i'm like oh i'm particular about certain things huh imagine that <laughs> um but it just it's been such a good learning and for me i'm somebody who has lived by myself since 2003. So here it is, you know, it was uh, at the time, 19, yeah, 19 years later, because they moved in in December, um, that I had people living with me. But it's been such a good experience and a learning experience for me. And I'm like, Lord, you are so good. He just, I, 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 again, I ain't going to get into all the other blessings and everything that has happened, but I'm just so grateful. And I hope whatever you, like, as you watch this and you're thinking like, okay, she over here talking about her new house. I want you to be encouraged because if the Lord did it for me, he can do it for you. If you're looking for a new home, if you're looking for a new job, if you're just waiting on God to move in certain areas of your life, ask him, Lord, what do you want to do in this area? Lord, what job do you want me to have? Lord, what kind of home are you going to buy me? That was wisdom that was passed down to me and I am passing it on to you because it has been such a blessing in my life. I believe the Lord can do exceedingly above anything I could dare ask or think. Ephesians 3.20 if he did it for me, he'll do it for you. He exceeds our expectations. He wants to see his children win. He does not want, want to see us struggling. But what it's going to cost you is obedience. And obedience sometimes can make you uncomfortable. It can put you in a place where you're like, what is happening? Obedience also requires faith. Because it's like, Lord, I'm doing this because I'm believing that you're talking to me about this. And keep in mind, I was one in the house since 2019. I wanted a new bed in 2021. And he told me to wait. So I did. It wasn't easy all the time, especially as I'm seeing I had a girlfriend buy a new home. I see other people, you know, moving and it seems like I'm like, Lord, they're going to do all this. But little did I know he had a whole plan for your girl, a whole plan. And I'm so grateful that he did. So as you're looking to embark on different things in your life, I pray that you are encouraged. Listen for the Lord's voice. Don't move ahead of him because whatever he has is better than you could ever imagine. Thanks for joining Conversations with Carrie. Don't forget to head over to CarrieLee.com. Also, you can read. I'm still writing over there. But also be sure to like and subscribe right here so you can get some more of this good old encouragement and learn about what the Lord has for you. Thanks, guys.